Alright, hey guys, welcome back for another Java tutorial. And in this one, I'm going to be teaching you about um, JTable, which is basically a table. And a table in Java and in many programming languages is, is what you would see as a spreadsheet in Microsoft Excel. It's rows and columns that holds information, and you can manipulate the information however you want. Um, we're not going to be manipulating it in this tutorial, but I am going to be teaching you how to make a basic one and add a couple of pieces of information in. Alright, anyways. Make sure you get your um, de default basic stuff you need. And then you're going to do, we're going to make one variable and it's going to be called uh, table. And a table, as you can see, is a built in thing. So, Alright, now make your constructor for the um, layout or table thingy. Yeah, alright. And then go. Um, we're going to use the default layout for this one, just because it's easier. We need new, remember. Alright. Then we're going to make a uh, string, an array, and it's going to be called column names. And this is basically going to be what is across the top of our table, like the header, I guess you could call it. <coughs> You'll see when I make it. So, column names, and it's going to be equal to... Whoops. Uh, names and it's equal to an array so curly brace and name I color and gender alright got that that's how you do an array in Java in case you didn't know now we're gonna have two arrays an array inside another array um, yeah, it's gonna be really confusing until you actually see how it is. So I'm just gonna get started. Call it object and two array symbols, not inside each other. It has to be next to each other. And then the next one we're gonna call data, and then this is gonna be equal to an array. And then go down, and this is also an array because remember we have an array inside an array. So yeah, if that's not confusing, then I don't know what is. So Bill, his name is gonna be Bill. He's gonna have hazel eyes, uh, and he's gonna be a male, right? And then do comma, not semicolon, because remember we're still inside of the object array. So I can go down, and then do uh, Mary, uh, black eyes and female, all right? And then uh, uh, Rick. Red eyes. <coughs> I don't think these are possible, but that's okay. And he's gonna be a male. And one more. I think I'll do just to equal it all. I'll do Janice. Uh, I don't know. Yellow <laughs> eyes. And she's a male. Female. Excuse me. All right. Now. Last one, comma, and then go down, find your ending semicolon, where it should be an error right here. Because it says semicolon expected. Okay? Now you got it. So, what we've made is our string array, which is column names, which is going to be the header, I guess, which is going to be displayed across the top. And this is our data that's going to go inside of our table. So, anyways, go down a couple, and now our table is going to equal to a new J table. And. We're going to put data and column names. So that's like saying int and, uh, excuse me, rows and columns, but I don't know. It's really confusing, but just do it for now. <sighs> Trust me. Alright. And then these are just a couple of things we have to do just to make the table show up. So table dot uh, set, uh, what is it? Prefer, there it is. Set preferred scrollable viewport size. Okay, if that's on a mouthful, then I don't know what it is. But anyways, um, and then on top of that, we have to do new dimensions. Now, finally, we have to type in some dimensions. So basically, this is how wide and how tall our table is going to be before it has to start being a scroll table. So maybe we want it 500 wide and 50 um tall, and after that. Oh, excuse me. This is not dimensions, it's dimension. After it gets um fifty, like you you have to start scrolling down, so it might be 
it might hold three or four rows, but that's it. And then you have to scroll down to see the rest. So, the last thing: table, set, fills, viewport height, and yeah, just put true. I mean, honestly, I really don't know what this is. I mean, I guess it's like it fills the viewport height. Okay, whatever. So you just have to put it. Just don't worry about it. And then J scroll pane. Now this is our scroll pane. And we call it scroll pane. And it's equal to new J scroll pane. Alright? And then we inside of our parameters we're gonna put what our scroll pane is for. And it's for a table. So like that. And add scroll pane. Alright, got that? We never actually added the table, we just added the scroll pane because our table is inside of the scroll pane thing. So, now, we're done with all the hard and confusing things now, it's just what you already know, which is the main method. So, oh. Uh, what should we call it? My first Java table. Not my first, but probably your first if you've never done it before. So, alright, anyways, I'm just gonna run it so you can see it. Whoa. Hello. Alright, didn't need an equal sign and eye color. Anyways, here it is. Title, my first Java table. So, you can see what the call. Whoa. Jeez. Oh man. <coughs> Alright. Anyways, you can see the the string column names is up here and it's uneditable, means you can't edit it. And you can move it around any way you want, like this. So if you want eye color to be first. But you see this names the names always stay with the name um header or column name and the eye color always stay with the eye color column name and same with the gender, so Alright, I think I'll just put it like I had it. So it is name, eye color, gender. Alright, so first guy we had, he, he was Bill, he had hazel eyes, he was a male. Then we had Mary, she had black eyes, she was a female. Rick, red eyes, male. Janice, yellow, female. See it? And see the scroll pane? We can only, since we had set it to 50, it can only hold about three rows and you start scrolling. But we only have four rows, so it's not very much to scroll down. So, and you can edit this. Which probably, I mean, it's not the best thing if you're trying to like display information and you don't want them to edit it. So I think I'm gonna teach you how to make it uneditable um, a while later. But for now, you can maybe say like, Bill has maroon eyes and he is a transgender or something like that. Nah, okay. He's a female. That's really weird, but. Alright, so you see how you can edit the information? Alright, so I'm going to close it. And really, the only thing you have to know is these str um, arrays right here. Just know that. This stuff is not very important. I mean, the only part of that's important is this right here. And that's your dimensions that is able to be scrolled or seen without being <laughs> seen without <coughs> scrolling. So we can see fi 50 high, and then we have to scroll. We can see 500 wide. Which is wide enough so we don't have to scroll, but say we had like 10 columns and we'd have to scroll. But, anyways. <coughs> Excuse me. You. Yeah, the only thing you gotta really know is this right here. This stuff, especially this, is just. Uh, you just have to put it in every time, but you don't really have to know what it does. Except this. So, thanks for watching and hope to see you next time.